today we are deploying SvelteKit and we will be exploring what hosting and building our application actually means. Stay until the end to see my favorite hosting option. First of all, what are we actually deploying? When building a SvelteKit application, we are building a series of serverless functions and files for our HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Hosting means executing these functions and serving these files when a user visits our website. But today, we are diving under the hood, so we will need a basic starter application. Let's create a GitHub repository for our experiment. We'll call this My Svelte App. Right when this is done, we head to the terminal and call npm init svelte at latest and pass it the same name. We accept most of the options, cd inside the app, and install our dependencies. Next, we'll init our repo and commit all our files, followed up by pushing them to GitHub on the main branch. With this done, let's pop open VS Code and explore our Svelte configuration file. What we're looking for here is the adapter. This is the package that will modify your build output to make it work on different platforms like Cloudflare or Vercel. Luckily for us, Adapter Auto will work to detect where you're deploying your application and select the appropriate one for you. Zolkit already has a lot of official adapters for many great platforms, so you won't have to search very far to find a good hosting option. But now, let's actually get to using and customizing one of these adapters. I personally love building fast applications, so we'll explore deploying our Svelte application to the Vercel Edge network. To do so, we'll be sure to override the auto adapter and use the Vercel one instead. This will allow us to tweak the behavior, and in our case, we will simply turn on Edge True to only use Edge functions. When tweaking platform-specific options, like deploying to the Edge functions, we need to install the right adapter, which I will do right now. Once this is done, we'll use the Vercel CLI to actually proceed and deploy this. You can download the CLI from the link in the description. We'll be asked a few questions about our project, which will mostly accept all the default values here. Once this is done, the Vercel CLI will call our build command and ensure that the build is done according to our specifications for Vite build and our adapter. Within a few seconds, Vercel will have deployed our application all over the world and we can visit our site. There are multiple ways to deploy Svelkit, which I will probably explore in a series of YouTube Shorts video. Vercel is my favorite as it is the simplest and the fastest. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and press the like button as it really helps this channel. Have a great day and see you in the next one.